Have you ever wondered why certain people seem to be making certain contacts in life or getting certain opportunities easily? Have you ever thought of how networks for some people seem to be working out so well for them? It is said that opportunity favors the person that is prepared. If you have opportunities coming your way and yet you're not prepared, those opportunities will mean nothing to you. Well, this week we have been talking about preparing for opportunities. And I said from the very onset that people represent opportunities. Therefore, people are actually opportunities. We've gone into a few that we have talked about from Monday till yesterday, and we will be just trying to wind up today. Welcome to Wisdom Moments on K24 with Miss CJ Temo. Hoping that this is helpful to you. So what you need to do for me, if you haven't headed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Head to my YouTube channel, CJ Atemo. Subscribe, set notifications so that every time we upload videos, you will be able to know. Then watch, like, comment, and share as well. For those who want to reach me on other platforms, it's CJ Atemo everywhere. That's Insta Instagram, uh, Twitter, and uh, as well as Facebook. I'm also on LinkedIn as CJ Temo, so it's CJ Temo everywhere. But if you want to do mail, if you need to reach me um, at a personal level and you want to reach me in a formal way, cjatsol at gmail.com is the email address to use. It's right there on your screen and I'd be glad to hear from you and interested to know how you would want us to, you know, partner or even just work things around. Well. I want to talk about a number five thing that somebody needs to pay attention to. I've talked about time, I've talked about dressing, I've talked about culture, um, among other things. And it is important for me to talk about easy contacts. By contacts, I mean the contacts that you will put on a CV, the contacts that you will give to people that you need help from. There are people who lose an opportunity, especially today, let me talk about people who are probably looking for a job. You call the person that you need a job from or a favor from using three or four different numbers. Nobody has the time, nobody has the space to save Linda one, Linda two, Linda three, Linda four. Nobody has that time. Nobody's going to save all your numbers. So when you know that you need to be contacted and you are expecting certain things to happen, you need feedback, you have probably put in your application, you have put in a pitch and you need to get feedback, let your contacts be easy to trace. That means just have one number. Let it always be on. You cannot be putting up a number and then saying most of the time it is off. Call this one in the evening. Call this. Look, who has all the time to do that? If you are the one who needs help, you are the one who needs help. Nobody will be looking for you and calling all your neighborhood and trying to check out on you everywhere. You will lose opportunities just because you are not available. Don't complicate your life. There are things you do with your friends that you shouldn't do anywhere else. With your friends, you can do all that stuff of, you know, this is the number that if you want to send uh, m -Pesa to me, send it to this number. I've seen people just lose even things like money just because they were saying, you know, uh, don't send it to this number. Let me give you another number. Now, who has the time to do that, to start storing a new number so that you can send money to that number? You've got to bring your life in order. Sometimes when you don't have easy contacts, people actually think you are disorganized or they may think you are dishonest. It paints a picture that may not be the reality of who you are. So, please, as much as possible, if you have to deal professionally or business, please keep one simple contact, just one number. Let the person know this is James calling or this is how I reach James and all of that. Just keep it as simple as that. Which also brings the elements of things like the email addresses that we have. Some of those email addresses, nobody's ever going to open your mail because if I am doing business and my fraternity uh, is of people who are doing business and then you have picked up names from some weird spaces and you bring a new send mail with a weird name, I will not open it. 
because I'm not expecting anything like that. I'm not interested. I don't know whether that is spam or that is really mail from somebody. So if your name is James Mungai, why not just do James Mungai or J Mungai at Gmail or whatever it may be so that when you send your mail, it's easy for me to pick it up. Why am I going to be looking for something that is absolutely strange? Some of those names you can't even tell, you know, uh, you don't know. Why am I opening a mail that is written as Dragon 4593? Who am I? Why am I dealing with a dragon in the first place? What business do we have to discuss with the dragon? Just get that stuff off. When you're looking for business, for jobs or something, remain as simple as you can so that you can easily be traced. Because there are so many people out there. The world is a sea of humanity. It's so easy to trace you when we know consistently this is James Mungai and this is his number. This is his email that came in. So we're not going to be digging through, trying to get through the rubble to find the mail that you sent or when we want to send you mail and uh, we're now looking for dragon. Nobody's going to do that. We'll just slay the dragon and that's going to be the end of the chapter. It's the same thing with your social media status. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, by now you must know that in every serious door you will walk into, you will be vetted on your social media. They want to know your personality. So they know that they have some psychoanalytics that they've got to do. They want to know how you behave. See, you can say on your CV that you are humble and you love people and you work with teams very well and you function well under pressure. You can say all of that kind of stuff on your CV. But when we come to your Facebook and your Twitter, we can tell that by ourselves. We can see how you handle people. We can see how you respond to people. We can see the kind of thoughts that you bring, the consistent thoughts that you keep on putting over there. We will see them. You may say that these are jokes, but you see, for example, you cannot have consistent jokes that are condescending to women and say those are just jokes. No, that's a personality. That's who you are. It means you're looking down on that particular gender. You cannot be this hateful um, and just pull, pull in snide remarks against men and then keep on saying those are jokes. No, when you joke about it three, four, five times, you're not joking anymore. It's just that you are a coward who cannot expressly say these are my thoughts so you want to cover them up as jokes so that in case they backfire you will say that you're just joking so people will see your social media and they will know whether you are qualified for the spaces they want you into they will check out whether you're emotionally intelligent whether you have the capacity for where you need to go how you handle people how you react your emotions if you always are this person who is flipping and you are always uh, upset and you you always have meltdowns and you're asking people to trust you with certain levels of money they're thinking if you were that unstable emotionally how can you even hold the money so the opportunity will be lost not because you're probably not good at money management but they're just thinking how will your emotional side affect your ability to think and to think through things very well so even in spaces like that You've got to be very well articulated in the brand that you want to have. But the more uh, that I wanted to talk about today, because I'm talking about easy contacts, is so what names are those that you put out there? People are looking for you. And just the same way you are dragon in the email, you've got this whole facade on your social media platform. So people cannot actually verify who you are. And because of that, they easily just pull out and say, we can't deal with this kind of of a person well i hope this has been helpful to you this week especially as we talk about preparing for opportunities until the next time keep it right over here on wisdom moments on k24 with me cj temo we'll see you again next week but remember to subscribe to cj temo on youtube like comment share set notifications follow me on instagram as well twitter facebook and connect on linkedin